okay uh, for the second session we start with the modulation techniques as applicable to optical uh, transmitters first to transmit an audio television or computer data signals by light waves it is necessary to change or modulate the light waves in accordance with the information signals and the pro uh, optical property that may be used is intensity frequency phase polarization to name a few now the methods of direct light modulation direct light modulation means driving current of either the laser or led is varied in accordance with the type of modulation required the two types of direct light modulation are analog modulation and digital modulation uh, we'll just go uh, take a glimpse of both analog and digital the third modulation that is intensity modulation as mentioned here is applicable to analog as well as digital modulation and it is the most dominant method of modulation as of present first is analog modulation the analog information signal is varied continuously in accordance with amplitude frequency phase intensity polarization of the carrier similar to radio frequency modulations that you have must have studied earlier in the analog modulation schemes uh, in your uh, uh, other run, uh, subjects next is digital modulation it is also called pulse coded modulation pca modulation the data samples are quantized in binary form the process of sampling and quantizing a signal is a form of pulse amplitude modulation pam the samples produce pulses of varying amplitudes these quantized decimal values are assigned to their binary equivalent so we are just actually step wise taking in the process of pulse code modulation how do we obtain digitized or discrete values out of analog signals so first it is the process consists of sampling and then those samples are quantized into a specific form those quantized values decimal values are given binary equivalent that is how analog values are converted to digital values the digital representation of analog signals that is pulse coded modulation is achieved the process that has been discussed just earlier the types of uh, pcm is pcm with intensity modulation pcm with frequency modulation pcm with phase modulation and pcm with polarization modulations these are these are the schemes that those are available with pcm under the digital modulation schemes now next we come to intensity modulation it is the major modulation strategy and it is easy to implement with the available sources it can be directly modulated by variation of the drive currents at rates up to several gigahertz drive currents will be actually discussing the drive circuits of uh, leds as well as lasers in the next uh, video as for now we just need to know that if we can vary the drive currents then the output light gets modulated and that is what we are actually talking about intensity modulation and uh the rate at which it can be actually modulated can up to be uh, several, several gigahertz for analog modulation this is achieved by varying the intensity of light beam from laser diode or led and in this case of leds modulation rate of more than 100 mbps have been achieved for digital modulation using the intensity modulation scheme it is achieved by flashing the laser diode or led on and off at an extremely fast rate and with semiconductor lasers modulation rate of more than 1 gigabits per second have been achieved so this is the data rates that are achievable using intensity modulation with analog modulation analog modulation means the intensity is continuously varied the intensity of light that is coming out of laser diode or led the optical source that can be continuously varied and that uh, supports a data rate of more than 100 mbps while for digital modulation again the 
आउटपुट ऑफ द लेजर डायोड और एल ई डी इज ऑन और ऑफ ऑन मीन्स वन ऑफ मीन्स जीरो दैट इज हाउ वी नॉर्मली गो अबाउट इट एंड इट इज डन एट एन एक्सट्रीमली फास्ट रेट दैट डिसाइड द डेटा रेट सो दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग कैन सपोर्ट अप टू वन जी पी पी एस ऑफ डेटा रेट सो दिस इज ऑल दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एंड वी हैव डिस्कस सो फार रिगार्डिंग द स्टैंडर्ड मॉड्यूलेशन टेक्निक्स यूटिलाइज इन ऑप्टिकल ट्रांसमिशन एंड द रिव्यू क्वेश्चन वॉट इज एनालॉग मॉड्यूलेशन you have actually been studying modulation in various forms earlier also if you are a student of electronics and communication engineering obviously the communication part starts just in the fourth semester or maybe uh, right in the third semester so you can take the definition from any way you want normally analog modulation means the analog signal the information signal varies the any of the properties the carrier is varied in accordance with the analog information signal the different property that is utilized is actually name of the modulation it can be amplitude so am frequency so fm phase modulation so pm that is how it goes about analog modulation similarly what is digital modulation when we actually modulate the digital form of signal that is how we go about digital modulation you can take the definition from whichever place you want the standard definitions state the various types of digital modulation so various types of digital modulation that exists perhaps you have uh, studied in digital communication and uh, for digital communication you have studied about pcm you, you might have studied about uh, the various forms of pcm that is uh, pam pwm ppm that is pulse width modulation pulse position pulse modulation pulse amplitude modulation then you might have come across other uh, proper pulse modulation schemes it is not just pcm it is pulse modulation which is uh, shift keying that is frequency shift keying then uh, amplitude shift keying ask fsk psk phase shift keying so you can just uh, take down a brief uh, write up of the various types of digital modulation that you have come across what is intensity modulation that we have just discussed in this particular video the definition how it is achieved actually and how it is applicable to analog and how it is applicable to digital the two other questions are this how is analog intensity modulation achieved and how is digital intensity modulation achieved this is exactly dealt in this video so you just uh, go through the questions write down the um, answers it will be a proper check to what you have been uh, taught right now in the video so that's all thank you